Well, some very sad news coming out of Canada as we are learning that Pastor Leon Fontaine, pastor of one of the largest churches in Canada, has died at the age of 59 years old, uh, very close to his 60th birthday, as a matter of fact. So what happened here? What are the details? I'll get into that here, guys, in less than 10 seconds. First, if you could, if YT lets you, try and hit that like button for me. Very important also, you please share the video, help us get around those algorithms. Hit the bell, subscribe, and wear the glasses because I'm blind. Pastor Leon Fontaine, he has been the, the lead pastor of the Springs Church since 1994, a long time. He has sadly died at the age of 59 years old, this reportedly happening on Saturday, November 19th. Now, um, an official video announcement by Leon's family was made um, during church services that were held on Sunday, November 20th. They played the video um, across the three campuses that the Springs Church makes up. They have um, two sites there in the Winnipeg, Manitoba area of Canada, and then they have another one uh, in Calgary, Alberta. So they played the video there um, announcing Leon's untimely passing. And, you know, this was a sudden death. Um, according to someone that had, you know, known Pastor Leon for quite some time, uh, they said that the death was unexpected. Now, the family and, and no one else has released an exact cause of death at this time. So we have no idea, but it was just the Sunday before. So this would have been uh, Sunday, November 12th, that Pastor Fontaine was there in the pulpit and, and he was preaching and um, seemingly everything was fine. So there's all sorts of speculation right now as to what this could have potentially been. Now, uh, it's important to note here that Pastor Leon Fontaine was one of those pastors in Canada that was quite the opponent of all the restrictions that took place up there in Canada during the lockdowns and everything else like that. Um, and he spoke about that quite often um, and was um, not one to mince words when it came to that. Um, some are speculating whether or not it was the, uh, the pinchy that led to this uh, untimely passing. And that I have no idea. Um, so I can't speculate on that at all. I, I really don't know. Um, but not only was Pastor Leon Fontaine, you know, uh, the senior pastor here for the Springs Church. I mean, and talk about growing a church. I mean, you're talking about three sites, 8,000 weekly in attendance. He was also the CEO of the Miracle Channel. This is a Christian cable channel there in Canada. It not only broadcast the sermons of Fontaine, but other televangelists as well had been on there. He became a CEO there in 2010. Uh, they released a statement on this as well, just expressing how heartbroken they were uh, to hear about the news of his death. And so as we you know, await to hear more details about what happened here, the most important thing that we can do as believers in this is to keep the Fontaine family in our prayers and also everybody at the Springs Church, anybody who sat under, um, you know, under Fontaine, who learned from him throughout, you know, his long time in ministry. And, you know, I said, too, that he was almost about to turn 60. He would have turned 60 on uh, Friday, November 25th. So he was coming up to that, uh, which would have been, you know, a milestone birthday for him. Uh, he'll have that in heaven now. And I know that for his wife, Sally... And for the rest of the family, they can rejoice in the fact, and I know it's hard to even mention the word rejoice in such a tragedy like this, but at least for them, they know they have that hope of Jesus Christ. And then they'll, they'll know that they'll have a reunion um, with Leon again when they get to heaven. And heaven is going to be full of reunions. Um, and that's an exciting thing for believers. And, you know, Something that I always do here in all my videos, you know, maybe you're tuning into my channel here for the first time. One thing I always do is that I never end any video that I do without giving people the hope of receiving Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Because you don't know 
when your last day is going to be here on earth. You want to make sure that whenever you leave this world, however you do leave it, that you are in the arms of Christ when it happens. And so if you're watching this video right now, you're someone that has not yet accepted Jesus into your life, I'd like to lead you in a prayer right now to do just that. It's a prayer that you can do in your own words, but I will give you the steps that you need to bring it before the Lord today. The first thing that you want to do right off the top, acknowledge that you are a sinner. That's something that we all are. The good news, though, is this, is that God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world. He died and rose again for you and me. Okay, he paid the cost. What you have to do, though, is repent of your sin. And repent means to turn from your sin. Not just to say you're sorry and then you jump right back into your old ways again. No, it means to turn from your sin which are those lifestyles, those habits, patterns, behaviors, the things in your life that go against the Word of God. If you humbly go before the Lord, though, and ask Him to forgive you, He'll wipe your sin away, and the Bible says He doesn't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision that you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. I will have more on this for you guys down below. Um, I welcome any thoughts any of you may have on Pastor Leon Fontaine. You can feel free to leave it down below. And our prayers, once again, going out to their entire family, everybody at the Springs Church uh, and at the Miracle Channel as well. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.